Good morning, YouTube. I have no idea how that's gonna turn out, but it should be interesting to see if that actually worked. Today is Saturday the 17th, November 17th, and we are getting ready for our first day of competition uh, at the Gears of War eSports, or Gears eSports Charity Invitational. Um, myself and my team are getting ready. We're gonna leave in about 20 to 30 minutes. Probably closer to 30, knowing that my team is usually late. And uh, I just want to show you guys how good of a, of, a, of a coach that I am. I plan for a time that I want us to leave, like the hotel to go to the venue. So then I think, okay, what is that time plus like 15 to 20 to 30 minutes? And then I tell the team that new time, that way when they're inevitably late because they're children, we're on time. So I, I'm just, I'm just one step ahead. I also want to show you guys how good of a team I am because Arodi left his piercings out. And I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm suspicious of um, just leaving stuff out in hotels. I just, you know, I don't like people, not, and I'm not even saying like maid services or, or cleaning staff or anything like that. Just people in general having access to my stuff makes me uneasy. So I'm going to hide them in my little my little bag, hide them in my little bag in the bathroom, and then uh, they're safe and sound. So I'm such, I'm, I'm just a good friend. This is the first time I've roomed with a roadie and he keeps making jokes about how like organized and how I brought everything that I could possibly need. And it's like, well, yeah, I'm experienced in traveling. Okay, that's what somebody who's experienced in traveling does. They come prepared. So I've got Tylenol, I've got toothpaste, an extra toothpaste when he didn't have his own. I've got whatever baby wipes, you name it, I have it. So in order to prevent, oh. In order to prevent myself from pacing around and uh, making you guys dizzy, um, I've got about, like I said, 15, 20 minutes before we're supposed to leave, before I meet them in the, uh, the lobby. And I don't know how the air conditioning audio is gonna work. That'll be an interesting test for this GoPro. This is the first event that I'm vlogging with this GoPro. So if you guys have any uh, suggestions or anything, I know the audio is not gonna be as good as when I have my big DSLR, but I'm waiting for GoPro to make the attachment so that I can uh, use an external microphone on it. They had it for the previous versions. They haven't released it for this new version yet. Um, so hopefully, 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 it comes out looking pretty good. And if I was smart, what I would do is bring up the GoPro app on my phone and then actually see what you guys are seeing um, so that I can, yeah, so this isn't a bad shot. It's a, there we go. Um, yeah, so I can see what you guys see, a little inception there. I'm excited for this event. I think this is going to be an interesting event because this is the first event that is single elimination. And I think that this is going to be an interesting event because this is the first event with the new maps and a nine map cycle and the new pick and ban process. And to show you guys uh, how prepared I am, um, uh, damn it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so if you guys take a look with me into my my little strategy planning notebook i actually have it all planned out already um, on this page you probably won't be able to read it but um, i have our pick and bands done for our two matches today and then we'll find out uh, who we play tomorrow today we play rise and cyclone which is the european team they were formerly or they're the most of the roster that was um lucent in san diego who we also played in the quarterfinals like so the first round of champ bracket uh and we two of them pretty swiftly so i've got uh stuff prepared for this and i don't know i'm feeling i'm feeling confident about uh how prepared i am for the matches i'm hoping that the uh, team comes out firing on all cylinders and uh that we have a good event so uh i think that's all i want to say for now let's go ahead and get the guys and then Make our way to the MLG arena. Oh, yeah, I feel Hey, brother. This is really cool. Little one and little one. Little and medium. Medium. <laughs> and large. How you feeling? 
excited. Ready? Yeah, I'm excited. I gave uh, Laura the code. I got the code in there. Oh, you did? That's, that's cool. I got the code too. You did? They come in two hours. They come at 11? They want to. They were talking to stay at the farm and stuff to get back. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. How are they going to do that if they move all your furniture and beds yeah, and stuff? Are, uh, yeah, but that's because they thought there would be more, but... Those guys didn't do your bed, right? I don't know if they built it. They will. I don't, I don't well, think so. Actually, I, I don't know anymore. The movies we were about to do wouldn't have done it. They did last year. They just take it home. They might stay at the house though, just because they're gonna have to unpack everything. MLG Arena time. We are here. Time to go through baggage check. And all that fun stuff. Oh, the worst part of every event. Wait, don't let me go. What happened? Billy's a bummer. Is there a trash can out here? Oh, I'm going in. Good, how are you? Not bad. Yo, why do they call Praise more dedicated than Owen? He's been here for three hours. He's just weird. He likes boys. Weird? <laughs> he likes boys. He went, to, he went to sleep at 6 p.m. Did he? Is Jesse? He's thirsty. Nah. Ah, that's why he's focused. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, we'll figure it out. So, I guess they didn't get it, they, was, they didn't get in time. So okay, that's fine. Praised in solar. That's fine. Thank you. What's that, pink, pink shoddy set? Pink shoddy set? Guys, make sure you switch your uh, DVR to one minute. For the last time. Broadcast What's up? preferences. Oh, and turn off notifications. Which uh, which pink skin should we rock? The pink trippy. There, there's no pink trippy. Every event. Pink trippy. There's Did you no get Red Bull, Gil? Yeah. Already down that shit. Trippy. Uh, me. Did you have one more set? Yeah. Thank you. Pink trippy. Why? Hey, me too. Oh, oh, we had one drop, bro. Moron. I said, yeah, I'm about to be like, y'all low cheese shit, bro, my fault. <laughs> Yo, they took them, my nigga. Uh, only shotty. I put Pink Trooper. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, let me know if you. Yeah, let me know if you. I'll grab you one now. Next time we got an interview, bro, so I know they're not... Every battle rap starts with, I say, I say, yo! I just don't have that passion this event. I say, we'll do our best. There's no money, I got some aguita right here, you know what I'm talking about? You can share that drone. All right, got one time for the one time. I got this right here, my nigga, slice of steel, my nigga. Ooh, look at that, man. Look at that, man. Easy, I'm doing easy. Is it in the party? Uh, no, that was in the hotel lobby. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. I'm gonna kill them. I think I'm the wrong sensitivity last event. One. You're lying. I lied. I that joke. Wait, what, what shoddy skin? What shoddy skin? What? Shoddy skin? I put pink trooper. Pink trooper or trippy? Pink Trooper. There's no Pink Trippy. No? Yes, yeah, yeah, yes yeah, or no. Yeah, use Pink Trooper. Huh? I'm taking my shoes off, bro. That's how you rock it? And that's what type of time you're on? Okay. These bitches down right here. I'm gonna get empty in my pocket. I'm not playing, my nigga. I'm not playing myself. Hey, Jesse, what up? 
Yo, should we leave the should we leave the Wi-Fi boxes or do I tell my girl to take it? The what? Like, take it back. What? Um, I think my girl is leaving my Wi-Fi. Leave it? Yeah, well, I'm going back there. Anyway. Alright, so we just finished our match against Rise. We won 2-0, 7-0 first map, 7-4 second map? Yeah, they were up 4-2. They were up 4-2, we came back 1-7-4. Uh, so GG to them. Now we have a little bit of a break, and then we play Cyclone uh, in our second match of group play, pool play. They are the European, the second European team, so it should be interesting to play against them. Uh, but I think it's food time. I think it's get outside and out of this heat time, and uh, a little bit of relaxation. Watch some other teams play before we we take on the Europeans. Am I right? Indeed. You hungry? Oh, uh, nah. I'm good. Eight Are you like... I, oh yeah, you had a big ass yeah, breakfast. Alright, so. YouTube. It's time. Time for our second full play match. Second one. Who are we playing? Cyclone. Now, I don't know. I've never played against the before. Uh, so they're a European team, relatively unknown to us. We're playing the maps. Foundation, Impact, Harbor, so pretty good maps for us. Uh, should be a fun match. Uh, yeah, I really don't know much else about them other than we need to uh, we need to do our thing. Meanwhile, he's handling business, taking care of his son. Yeah, so we're we're gonna play Cyclone, and then that should be our last match of the day, right? Um, yeah, not much else to say. I expect this one to be pretty... Yeah, pretty pretty light, right? Yeah, light. Nice, nice solid rank match. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, we're, we're going to respect them. We're going to treat them, you know, as we would any other team. And uh, do our best to take home a 2-0. And uh, then watch the matches, hang out, chill, go back to the hotel, and enjoy our night before the, the serious stuff starts tomorrow. Yeah. Wish us luck. Hey, thanks, man. All right, so we are, well, I am back in my hotel room. Uh, Praise is not here yet. Uh, he wanted to stay at the venue for a little bit longer. But myself and the other four guys came back, and uh, I think we're just going to hang out and, and really take tonight easy, talk about in our, our chat, or maybe go to a room and uh, talk about what we want to do for picks and bands tomorrow. I'm pretty sure our tournament path is looking like we are going to play the loser of Ghost and Ladam Kings who are playing now, which will probably be Ladam Kings. We'll probably play them first for the quarterfinals match because we are number one in pool A, they're number two in pool C. After that, we'll play in the semifinals, most likely the winner of Simplicity and Hive, assuming that Hive wins their next match tonight, which they should because it's against Fire and Ice. And Fire and Ice is a good team, don't get me wrong, I just think Hive might be better. If not, then we're playing the winner of Simplicity and Fire and Ice. So one of those three teams will be our semifinals. And then after that, it's probably going to be one of your expected favorites, uh, Fury or Ghost. Now, obviously, these are all teams that we have to take seriously. They're all obstacles on the path to what we're trying to do. So we're going to prepare for them the same way. I'm going to have picks and bands ready. Uh, my Rise pick and bands, I'm so happy about. Uh, I wish I would have known more about the European team Cyclone, but it didn't end up really mattering. The dude on their team, Ashens, I think had no kills the entire first map and didn't get kills until like the second or third round of the second map. So uh, that that was a pretty e easy series. Um, yeah. So I don't know if that's a new team or something, but either way, oh well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to prepare. But yeah, my, my picks and bans against Rise, I was almost 100% accurate. They banned Dam instead of Impact like I thought they would, which didn't change anything. Their pick was exactly what I thought. Our pick was obviously what I thought, and Tiebreaker came down to, like, the rest of the bands went exactly how I thought. So we ended up getting the three maps that I wrote down last night. So, you know, shout back to that vlog. I'm not going to show it, but if you guys remember that vlog, I showed you guys what I wrote down, so you can go see it. But we played the exact right maps. Hopefully I can do that for our next three matches, but it's crazy to think that we are three matches away from winning this tournament. 
it, it, the single elimination format, I, I have a lot of thoughts about it, and I'll probably talk more about it tomorrow after like you know the results of the tournament are in. But I think that it, it definitely is interesting and plays a different role on how teams are approaching this tournament and just the mindsets and the mentalities and the pressure that's on. Uh, pool D, for example, everyone thought that would be the pool of death because you've got reciprocity, you've got space station gaming, and you've got simplicity. And so far, it's been just that. I mean, it's it's been a crazy pool to watch. You have simplicity beating reciprocity to nothing. You have uh, simplicity almost beating uh, space station gaming. They ended up choking around 13 on tiebreaker map. And then you have reciprocity 7-0-ing and then 7-6-ing space station gaming in their series, which is eliminates space station gaming space station was one round from securing their spot but they ended up getting eliminated by reciprocity a team that's normally top five top six is now top 12 in a 12 team tournament it's 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 crazy to see uh so you know this this is definitely an interesting style it's definitely interesting to watch and, and to see how everything's turning out i think i'm going to call it a night in terms of the vlog because i don't think anything else is going to happen so I appreciate you guys watching these videos. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying them. And yeah, let's uh, let's get some work done and let's get ready for tomorrow and, and bring home another win for the green wall. Thank you guys. Make sure you subscribe down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all at the next video.